when we disrupt the normal circadian rhythm, it increases the risk for different uh, diseases and especially cardiac disease. This weekend marks the return to daylight saving time, meaning the clocks go ahead one hour. But researchers here at Winnipeg St. Boniface Hospital say that switching the time twice a year is bad for your heart health. It's something we all dread. Whether the clock is springing forward or falling back, it impacts us. Unfortunately, it's very concerning. What we're trying to suggest is that the daylight saving time will be eliminated. Cardiovascular researchers like Dr. Ina Rabinovich Nikitin are calling for the end of daylight saving time as new studies conducted show just how bad the biannual change is for people with heart problems. If you have genetic mutation in a circadian or any disruption to the circadian, it can cause defects in the quality control processes. And that's why when we have heart attack, the damage is greater and uh, the outcome is actually worse. Studies from the New England Journal of Medicine and the American Academy of Neurology have shown that the risk of heart attacks increases by 24% on the Monday following the switch to DST in the spring. For shift workers, it's much worse at 40%. The risk of stroke increases in the following days of the switch and sleep deprivation increases workplace accidents. So the two things that are happening to us, we're losing the hour of sleep, but we're also moving our body clocks away from the sun. Dr. Patricia Lakin Thomas from York University says because our internal clocks run a bit slow, we rely on dawn light to reset our clock every day so we can be in line with the day and night cycle. But moving the clocks forward impacts that cycle. We're putting ourselves into a kind of chronic jet lag condition whenever we're on daylight saving time. Our body is trying to follow the sun and our social clock is telling us we have to get up at a time that our body isn't ready for. The Manitoba government said it's looking to do away with the time change after introducing a bill last year. BC plans to switch to permanent daylight saving time, but not until the U.S. passes similar legislation. Rabinovich Nikitin believes moving to a permanent standard time would have more positive long-term health outcomes for Canadians. Basically, if we uh, stay with the winter time, it means that uh, the light and dark cycles are aligned better with our circadian rhythm. Most of Canada will set clocks forward one hour on Sunday at 2 a.m. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.